<laughs> so what have I learned from being in uh, an abusive relationship and being all honest it's been more than one um, mainly the same type of person just in a different body uh, what was it about me that was attracting <laughs> the same thing and it wouldn't have mattered where I moved to what state I moved to or anything because there was something about me attracting them and a lot of the times when an unhealed person attracts someone that's not right for them uh, that other person is also unhealed and a lot of the times you don't even realize it so hurt people hurt people right so mine um, came from low self-esteem uh, being named called uh, that's that's everybody was done, done that but some people take it on a whole different level I was one of those people <laughs> I took a lot of the stuff to heart uh, especially when I was called ugly by guys especially when I would be um, we had a, a team that I was on and they would uh, line up all the girls uh, on the team well not all the girls at least the ones my age and say who's the prettiest I never got picked off that line they left me on the line <laughs> So, you know, things of that nature. And it happened several times. So I took it, I took it in like, oh wow, I'm ugly. And so that's what I thought I was. And my esteem was not high about myself, uh, along with the fact of being called ugly, along with the fact of, of so many different childhood traumas. Um, not to say that, well, I'm not I'm gonna leave that out, but what I'm saying is I had a low self-esteem and you know guys that uh, know better can spot it from miles away they can sniff it and sniff it yes and so with that being said I was easy to get over and uh, uh, I took it in for a while until I couldn't take it no more and then I would end the relationship but I never really dealt with um, those insecurities from childhood and so I'm thinking that because I let myself not be in a relationship and I could go years <laughs> um, I didn't just jump in one and in another just to be in one um, I tried to take my time but it didn't matter I never dealt with the uh, the insecurities my insecurities and so I that's how I attracted the same type of people uh, that knew that they could I was a pushover <laughs> pushover um, at least for a while because uh, I'm the type that you gonna push me over for a while but once I realize what's going on then I move out of your way because you're not gonna keep pushing me but in the meantime when I finally got out of my last relationship I decided to face me face that enemy that I never addressed and then what I realized I had rejected my own self <laughs> I didn't even realize it uh, but I had told myself that it would be hard for me to be loved because I wasn't attractive and um, you know even even in I could say even in college same thing was being said to me um, I don't want a, a, a real beautiful girl I just you know want to get with a nice lady <laughs> and so um that that I took that with me for years so now I realize I accept me for who I am <laughs> and because I'm doing that I'm treating myself better when y'all a lot of times when y'all see me you see me out here walking I do other things besides walk but this is when I get a lot of my thought process and I'm in nature I am in so much nature I'm just let y'all see this for a minute right it's a lot of nature out here uh, birds squirrels dragonflies uh, and a lot it's, a, it's, a, it's just a lot but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying 
life now. Um, I'm enjoying me and I'm okay with me. I'm, I'm okay with my imperfections. Whatever I need to work on, I am so willing to do it, but I don't have to beat myself up because I'm not um, where I think I should be. I'm happy with me and then I'm working with me. I used to condemn me because that was uh, something that was embedded in me even as a child uh, but I learned that from uh, people uh, that would condemn me for making mistakes and especially when we were growing up uh, especially my generation you didn't want to make mistakes and if you did boy oh boy you paid for them even if it meant somebody just judging you because you made mistakes you know what I mean so I began judging myself didn't even realize it but all that to say uh now i know better so i know better i do better i do better i attract better i love better i love me better i put hair treatments in my hair hair treatments in my hair y'all know what i'm talking talking about uh you know uh treatments all over <laughs> we'll get into those treatments later and um also with what i also noticed sometimes emotional eating is what I do like if I want to feel better if something bothered me I noticed that I'll pick up sweets if it if, I, if it makes me angry with whatever that situation is or was I'll pick up sweets uh, because it's a f falsehood type of excitement where your dopamine is um, <sighs> built up or it's activated that way so now i don't have to have sweets to activate my dopamine i can just think positive and that builds up i can i can be grateful and that builds up my dopamine and just just do anything for me i, I like praising god or i like singing or just different things you can do or walking or the hair treatments or dancing whatever it you know you do so all that to say um, if you're wondering why you are choosing the same guys or women <laughs> ah then go back to the source and find out what is that thing that's bothering you and then deal with it face it don't let it go by another day rent paying not paying rent but sitting on your shoulders um you know just influencing how you think about yourself and it is okay to make mistakes by the way <laughs> learn from them uh because the more you don't learn from them the more you can have a higher possibility of making them all over who wants to do that? Peace out.